Andy Sale girls get a brace from Erica Lineweber to record a 3-2 win over visiting Menor on Saturday afternoon in a battle of perennial News Herald top of the crop sides. I, I got to be quick here because I have a 7 o'clock match, so I'll keep it brief. But uh, I saw glimpses from a couple of young sides here. It wasn't great as a full 80, to be completely honest, but you saw glimpses there that make me encouraged going forward. With NDCL, the wide play early was fantastic. Utilizing Erica Lineweber wide left, Marina Hess wide right, and taking advantage of those pacey wide runs to really uh, deliver some nice quality there in the attack. I think as that half wore on, the service got a bit predictable, and then they completely deviated away from the wide play, but those opportunities are there, and what I like that Matt does tactically here is, for example, he might switch Line Weber out wide right, put Hess wide left, even had uh, Hess playing in the middle a little bit up top. So interchangeable parts. There's nothing wrong with having pace and interchangeable parts in a side, and NDCL certainly has that with a very young group that's still uh, predominantly sophomores and juniors. It's good to see them building. You'd like to see it for a full 80. It wasn't on display here, but hey, they were able to get a win uh, against a perennial thorn in Menor, uh, first time for the Lions since 2010, so that's very encouraging. With Menor... Very solid nine save match for Megan Bedell. She had a couple of really nice saves uh, in one in the first half and one off the top of my head in the second half that kept him within two to one, kept him within striking distance for a while. But really, what uh, what what got this match firmly in NDCL's favor for sure uh, was that third goal uh, when uh, when uh, Line Weber took a gorgeous, just a gorgeous diagonal ball from Elena Burkic into space, played a first touch in and slotted the finish to make it a three to one match. I'm generally speaking, I'm not a big proponent of playing into space as opposed to playing defeat. But if you have enough of an understanding there and you have enough pace there out on the flanks, it, it, it's okay to play that every now and then. I, I don't like to see it often, but when it's executed well, nothing wrong with it. And uh, Burkich played just a beautiful diagonal ball with pace to spring line Weber and line Weber did very nicely with the finish there to make it a three to one match with Menor, the combination play in the opening 40 was not great uh, to be completely honest but I think they improved as the match wore on and I think it was a scrappy second half from the Cardinals here Six freshmen and sophomores, I believe, off the top of my head, and they're starting 11 without cheating and uh, looking at the roster next to me. But, you know, the thing with uh, Corey coming in as coach, Corey's sides always peak well in the postseason. And this is a side that's young, developing. They're going to grow uh, as this process plays out, and they understand what Corey wants tactically. I like the scrappiness from the side in the second 40 to stay within striking distance. They fall behind 3-1 to one on what can be a deflating goal with how good of a combination sequence that was for the Lions. But they grabbed that lifeline through Alyssa Blackburn to make it a 3-2 match in the 75th. And they battled hard. Uh, that combination play needs to be a little bit better. I'd like to see it not be quite as... Um, individual focused in the offensive third as it tended to be at times in this match, but you can tell the promises there with the Cardinals, and I'm sure that they'll be a tough side uh, once uh, once Corey gets uh, things in place the way that she wants them to be uh, going into October. So a couple of young sides, there were flashes there. It wasn't a great 80, it was a decent 80, but uh, Andy Seale is uh, certainly not going to complain about a head-to-head -head win over Menor. 3-2, uh, a uh, nice home win for the Lions on Saturday. Okay.